the cable cars were started just as a way of getting better than a horse car, just getting around, and now they're part of the tourist landscape because people had the dedication and the foresight to see that this, this was something that was authentically a part of the city, that was real. And they proved themselves time and time again, even though it was an expensive and a very dangerous technology. Understand, you are dealing with a wild animal. You think it's tame, but that lion, that bear is constantly going, he turned his back, he's not paying attention. You have to treat it like that. Because the second you let your guard down, something's going to happen. Not only is there an earthquake and fire that destroys the city, but the channels on Lower Market Street sank four feet. They're unusable. And they decided that cable cars were of intrinsic value to the city, that it was romantic and it was colorful, and they also brought in tourist dollars, and that we shouldn't just be in such a hurry to rip them out. The sound of the cable in the slot has been called the heartbeat of San Francisco. The city lives on the tourist dollar. This is one of the most sought after tourist destinations in the world. And they come here, there are two biggest things they're gonna do. They're gonna walk out on that Golden Gate Bridge and they're gonna ride a cable car. Yeah, you know, these things are built solid. They are built solid, they run well. Uh, you know, you don't wanna run a stop sign in front of a cable car because the bumper is a block of solid oak encased in quarter inch steel. The thing weighs 14,500 pounds empty or 15 to 16,000 if it's a California car. They are really solid. And, and, you know, when we build one, when we rebuild one, we expect it to last for over a century.